take a look at Stellar, I'll be taking a peek at the Stellar USD pair as well as the Stellar BDC pair. And might as well as throw XLM ETH pair just for the fun, but to see if the Stellar is outperforming Ethereum right now or not. Because if it is not, why not just hold Ethereum, right? Anyway, this is the Stellar USD chart fresh from, fresh from Binance. This is a daily chart and uh, these white lines that you see here, these have been my targets and we have met almost all the targets here. Uh, we touched 61 cents in February and we also touched nearly touched 61 cents um, on Binance this month as well. So what after this? Well, for that I'll be firing up the Poloniex chart which I made just for this very purpose. So you fire up the weekly view auto and then you can see the next level to look out for so the next level after 61 cents is the previous all-time high which is 94 cents this is the same price of ripple right now so normally after ripple has done its rally and stuff the stellar starts moving and usually the xrp army likes to pump xlm after they have pumped the, star, the ripple and we can see continuation on the MACD. Let me, if you zoom zoom this out on the weekly, you can clearly see that there's a continuation of the MACD that has not touched uh, bearish. Something which I feared it would, and it has not. This means the stellar will be going up uh, in the next weeks to come. And we also see a green bar here, not a red bar, which also confirms that it will be continuing. So. Let's fire up uh, the 20 day moving average to see if we are in bull market or not. And uh, if your favorite coin is below this yellow line, this 20 day moving average, this means it is a bear market. And if it is above these uh, yellow line, it means you, your favorite coin is in uh, bull market. So the stutter is doing just fine right now. So um, if it corrects, which it can because nothing goes up in a straight line. We have very strong support at 32 cents. Let me fire up the HMO cloud as well, which also shows us the current support lines. So the current support line is at around 45 cents or so. This is the first weekly support. The second weekly support would be 32 cents. If you switch to the daily chart, uh, the daily support is at 45, 0.459 and at 0.478 if we go down the 20 day moving average all will also act as support, which is right now at 4229 on the daily chart and we are still on the green which means the bulls are still in control and i think there is much more upside to come because we had we accumulated for quite a long time we have, been, we have been in accumulation period since 21st of february and we flipped to the green on 29th of march so the bulls are very much in control. Um, let's see um, what Stella does. I'm expecting Stella to touch is at least uh, previous all-time high this month or probably next month. If you switch to the monthly, you can clearly see that we are still we're still fine. MACD confirms that we have not flipped to the red side. However, we are now just above this huge resistance red cloud that you see at the HMO red cloud is usually acts as resistance and if we are able to close about this uh, red cloud it will be very 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 bullish for Stella. So yeah so let's move to the STR BTC or by the way the STR is the symbol that Poloniex still uses for XLM and uh, if you want to see the stellar chart with longest history you would have to use the Poloniex chart because it has the maximum amount of history. Now, this is the monthly chart of Stellar BTC from again from Poloniex Cryptocurrency Exchange. This is what I would do uh, last month. We're pretty much at the same um, area in terms of SATs 855. And if we go from here to the next resistance zone, look, the first resistance is here. First monthly resistance is at 1500 SATs. And once we are able to flip that into uh, support, the next monthly resistance is at. 3100 and when will and whenever we will be about to enter this very this red cloud which is somewhere around 2600 sats so that's still 200 that's still around 200 percent from here now let's remove this and um, 
see the weekly chart for a better perspective so you can also you can see that we have broken out we are about to broke out from this accumulation uh, even in this accumulation from quite some time uh, since uh, 15 to July 2019 to be exact so um, almost two years have passed and even in this accumulation range and hopefully this time Stella will break out properly right now you can see that 955 that has been acting as a resistance for the Stellar on the SDR on the excellent BTC pair so we must close about 960 or by the end of this week to stay bullish if you're able to do so uh, the next uh, area of resistance is at 1500 sats on the daily we have entered the red cloud and this means that we will face resistance 955 which is exactly which is clearly visible on the weekly you can see that it's exactly at 955 so let me mark that for you guys so 955 is a level to look out for if we are able to close above 955 uh, stellar is going to the moon it we are definitely going into stella with it we're above the 20 day moving average on the daily so so far so good now i'll be taking a look at the excellent idiot shots whether stellar is outperforming ethereum or not because if it's not final just hold ethereum right so we on the daily you can clearly see that we have support as 0 0.00023 uh, but we are now facing resistance on the outline of this cloud which is right now at 2500 Right now we are hovering around 238. The bull is still in control. We are still on the green side. We have some resistance at 25639 on the daily chart. I'm pretty sure this would be the same resistance on the weekly. You can, you can clearly see that this outline is also uh, is further confirmed on the uh, on the weekly chart. Yeah, this would be the area where you, you they tear this stellar can face maximum um, uh, resistance. You can also see that on the weekly chart against Ethereum, we are below this yellow line. So this will also act as a resistance, which is at uh, 2449. So we, we must close above this yellow line to stay bullish on the XLM EDH pair. So if you're trading against Ethereum, I would say hold on to your Ethereum instead and wait for the breakout. Um, once we are able to break above 31,000, yeah, what do you call these uncles? I don't know. Once we are able to break up 0 0.00031, um, I will go all in in, in Stellar if for, and I will still make it for Stellar. But on the BTC chart and uh, the USD chart, Stellar is looking just fine. I mean, yeah, Stellar, Stellar is looking Stellar right now. <laughs> So we have a, a, a continuation on the weekly on the on the USD chart, which is what I wanted to see. This means that Stellar will continue to go up, and hopefully we will touch the all-time high, previous all-time high of 93, 94 cents this month. And Stellar, if, and if you just hold on to it, Stellar will make a lot of people rich. Uh, the most difficult thing in cryptocurrency trading is holding, because everything is so volatile. For example, just see this. I mean, it went from 22 cents to 11 cents that's you would have lost half of your money here so be prepared for similar corrections right now we have some major support at 33 cents so if something if, if the stellar wishes to correct we may end up somewhere you know between 33 cents and 36 cents so yeah that's all about it feel free to take a screenshot of this uh, and stay subscribe for more price analysis ic reviews and uh, all sorts of technical analysis on my channel and give this video a like if you liked it. Um, that's all I need from you guys. Bye bye.